Hello fast car viewers, today we are with Meguiar's UK to look at their skeet kitted Renault 5. What a beauty. <laughs> On the Renault, yep. we, we touched on this earlier, it's not actually a dimmer, because yep. a dimmer is, as you said, an original yeah. metal built car. Yeah. So this is a replica of a dimmer and yep. it's got a skeet kit on it, is skeet, that right? that's right, yeah. So uh, as we spoke off camera, uh, dimmer created metal bodied cars that were chassis, but they were plated numbered cars. I think they're a fortune these days and rightfully so. Uh, anything there after that that was a wide body is just naturally referred to as a dimmer. And then let's talk about the actual modifications and you've given it a bit of a 21st century twist. Yep. Yes. So the vision was if the RS department could build a Renault 5, what would it look like? And um, they didn't get a chance back in the day. Um, so we really have taken cues from the modern styling of Renault. That's everything from the 197 Recaro CS seats um, it's actually a Clio 200 spoiler yeah. that's taken uh, so like two weeks worth of work just to get that to mount onto this car. And then the colourway as well, so anthracite centre wheels, liquid yellow. What I love about this car, it could be, it's so Ali G, but Renault could have built it. Wicked, wicked. On the wheels, and like you said, the absolute genuine dimmer wheels that came with the car that you bought. Um, but you had them completely broken down. To make them to fall into that sort of Renault RS colourway that I wanted, um, we sent them down to uh, the lads at um, uh, the wheel specialist in Fairham. They, I don't know how they rescued the lips because they were so bad. Um, painted the anthracite centres, built them back up. We actually did a nice little cheeky stud conversion as well just to add to the motorsport feel on it. And yeah, they've, they've lasted the test of time really. We went for Nankang AR ones on there as well just to... Yep. Give us that little hot hatch, bit of grip. Chunk, and the, chunky tyres. And the chunky style as well, yeah. So you've got the two litre in there? Yep. Out of the 172. Whilst this is as bolt in as it gets, you needed to, so it's had a custom made uh, downpipe just to fit against the bulkhead. Uh, Forge Motorsport made us up the watering system and the intake basically, so they pike at all that intake so we've got enough air into it. It's the manifold that is custom and then it goes out to a Scorpion right. um, three inch back pipe. Wicked, right, uh, let's go from the front to the back. Let's go. Actually, the stereo in this is that sounds mega. So we've got two five inch uh, speakers in the front and a 10 inch in the back. And it's like a little bass box. Yeah. It really is, it is the most allergy part of the car, to be fair. So yeah, it's great. We've done some miles in this, been to Scotland in it, been to Holland in it, been to Ireland in it. It's done, it's covered a load of miles and it's, it's, it's brilliant. So you need your Bluetooth? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Brilliant. We've got these lovely Recaro sports seats. What did you say they were out of? Out of a Clio. Um, so these are a limited uh, edition option. Um, we've not retrimmed these, so we managed to purchase them like this with the, the yellow dot as well, but that's super rare. B&M short shifter, again, that's an old school yeah. kind of thing, isn't it? It's what we used to do back in the day. Yeah, and the original wheel, again, I didn't, it's just tired, bless her, but that's the original wheel from the car that we bought, and I didn't want to retrim it or do anything, because it. the reason why we started doing this car was 17-year-old me didn't modify his GT Turbo, and it just brings back that GT Turbo feel for me. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video on this 90s legend, and I'm not talking about me, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.